lights, camera, action. Okay. You're watching Food is Medicine TV, where we help you heal from the root cause using food as medicine, and this is part of the whole journey. So today, we are talking about how to reduce electromagnetic field exposure to magnetic fields and electric fields to prevent things like chronic fatigue, brain fog, dizzy spells because with modern society, we are around all kinds of electrical and magnetic devices that are having this slowly negative impact on our health. And that goes for everything electrical, whether that is our laptop. I mean, are we ever without our laptop? Are we ever without our iPhone? And that goes for anything that is magnetic as well. I'm talking about Wi-Fi and refrigerators and things like hair dryers and things that we're really around all the time. And so why do we need to reduce our EMF exposure? Did you know that the World Health Organization classifies magnetic radiation as a class three carcinogen? And when we're around EMFs too much, what happens is it affects our pineal gland in the brain. The pineal gland produces melatonin. That is your hormone that not only induces sleep, but it suppresses cancer cells. And we now know there is research and studies, which we've linked to our blog, that if you are around overexposure of EMFs, especially when you're too much on the cell phone, talking on it directly, that this can produce more and more cancer, which we know cancer is running rampant. So what we wanna do is we wanna be able to live and thrive in today's modern world, but also be connected to nature and to reduce this EMF exposure. Now you know that EMFs are affecting you if you feel dizzy often, lightheaded, brain fog, you get some ADHD symptoms that you never had, maybe anxiety that comes out of nowhere after a day of just being on the computer all day. So what can we do about it? At The Whole Journey, we are all about action and what are the action items we can do to live a holistic life in our modern world. And so there are so many things you can do. <clears throat> the first thing is house plants. This is a peace lily. Peace lilies have been studied by NASA. There are extensive studies on how house plants clean up the air because they have to figure out how to keep the air clean in space stations. And so peace lilies absorb toxic pollutants through their leaves. And so NASA says that we should have 12 to 15 houseplants per 1,800 square feet. So that they don't have to be huge houseplants, you know, they can be smaller plants, but start to think about that. It's such a simple way to clean up the air and to stay connected to nature. And I have a salt lamp, a Himalayan salt lamp in every room. And so what we're trying to do is we're trying to be around negative ions. That is what works better with our cellular chemistry. And that's what neutralizes these EMFs. So keep a salt lamp by the TV, keep a salt lamp where you're working in your office by the computer. When you're getting ready to go to sleep at night, turn on the salt lamps and try to read by those. That will be really helpful for you. Couple of other things. Beeswax candles. They cannot be the toxic paraffin candles. They have to be beeswax candles. They can also help to neutralize the EMF exposure. And then just be careful whenever you are talking on the phone, you know, use, get one of these cool little things that you can hold your phone and talk on speaker or use a headset. This is a headset that's different than the regular headset because it uses a tube, T-U-B-E, not Bluetooth, this is blue tube, and that way you are not getting the signal straight to your brain, which we know that we have studies from the National Toxicology Center that is proving that we're starting to get more and more cancer from overexposure to using our cell phones. So these are safe ways that we can enjoy technology without hurting our health. This here is a defender mat that will neutralize EMFs. You can get them in any color. They're great to put your computer on. And do not put your computer directly on your lap, right? They're called laptops, but we don't want them directly on our lap. Instead, at Amazon or Office Depot, just buy one of these guys. 
buy one of these guys and put your computer on top of it and that way you're protecting yourself. And then think about how often you're using other electrical devices. Ladies, are you drying your hair? This is something I didn't think about until I started researching this segment. So a hair dryer releases 40 to 20,000 milagus in EMFs. That's the, the unit to measure EMFs. To put that into context, a microwave only emits 50 to 100 milagus. So maybe if you're drying your hair every day, hey, it's better for our hair for natural oil to come in. Go down to twice a week. And the simple things that we do where we're not around all of these electrical things will make a big impact on our health. But you know what the biggest is? Guess. It's being out in nature. We are natural beings and we are meant to be in nature. Studies show 15 to 20 minutes a day, wherever you live, find your favorite spot in nature and make it happen. Take your breaks, especially at the end of a long work day. My favorite thing to do is just go walk on the beach. You know, we're lucky in San Diego that we have this year round temperate climate and there's negative ions in the ocean and the salt air and the water that literally put you back together after a day on the computer. So I hope this helps. I hope it adds value to your life. Very simple tips you can do to lower your EMF exposure and improve your health. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time on Food is Medicine TV.